Now if we go to the back, another storage compartment again, but inside here is also housed the air pressure regulator. So if I need more air to my gun, I can simply turn this knob up or down to adjust the pressure. We have built in some storage, right? There's never enough storage on a milling machine, but we, we put a compartment in wherever we could. So just by opening this door, you can have room for paint cans, for instance, hammers, things like that. We have a panel right here. What this panel does, we open that up, right? And this is how we fill our machine with water. This machine is equipped with a 900 gallon water tank. So we will hook up our hose to here, open this valve and fill up that tank from here. We also have one other way to do it, and that is an option on this machine. On the upper left side of this machine, there is another one of these, if so equipped, okay? So very important. We close this up, it's lockable, so people can't drain your water at night. Also behind this panel, right, we have more storage. This is simply a box for our grade control. That's what that looks like. You can see it says cat grade and slope on that. That would house our grade and slope housing. We have some hand tools and air tools that come with the machine equipped with a hammer. Uh, this is, happens to be a tool inserter. Everybody knows what those are. A little hand punch for removing the tools um, and things like that. Also very important, this is where we store the batteries, right? So easy access to the batteries when those are have outlived their usefulness, we can replace them easy by getting into this compartment. 